everyone. It's Tracy. Welcome back to Mini Kit Monday. This is the first week of uh, June uh, 2021. And Shannon is the hostess this month. And she came up with these lovely sketches. You don't have to use them. They're just some inspiration. And I know a lot of times that we have like color inspiration. And, you know, last month I was the hostess and we did cards. But, you know, let's say we don't have any color inspiration, a mood board up there. Did you know that you can find them online? I went to, um, I think I just Googled a uh, mood board. Now I'm looking for something in particular. I recently took a trip to uh, Olympia, Washington and, um, in, and I did the whole, um, outdoor nature stuff. I, I didn't go to any, like I didn't go to Seattle or anything like that, but I wanted to scrapbook some of the pic, uh, uh, pictures that I took from that trip. And so I did nature mood board and there were several choices to choose from. And this is the one that I chose. Now, why did I choose this one? Well, to be honest, I didn't want to have any pink, even though I think there's a little bit of pink down here in this. I was kind of going by this Pantone color, uh, I, I don't know, samples. And I really, really, really like that. So to me, it reminded me of my trip. And so I was trying to go with that. My goal of this month for my kit was to not have pink. And that's hard. Uh, you would be surprised of how many papers don't have pink. There's not very many. There's not very many that don't. So let me show you what I came up with. Now, because it is a travel, I chose this. Now, it does have a little bit of this. I'm going to call this like an orange because there is orange here, but it's not like the same shade of orange, but it goes with this paper. So I am, uh, so this will be my first one here. Let me see if I put this off here. That way um, you can see. There's my first paper. And this was in the same collection. And it's a little dots. And then I have the bigger dots too. Well, I think this is actually from a different collection. But it has the same tones that I'm looking for. And you can tell I got them from a paper pad and I didn't, and it doesn't really matter that I'm tearing them off now because more than likely I'm only going to use part of the sheet. And then we're going to go to something totally different. Um, this doesn't have any pink in it, and, but it has more of a blue tone, but I'm okay with that because it totally goes with, where I was, I was in the rainforest for one day and it, oh my goodness. Oh, wait till you see the photos. <laughs> wait till you see the photos. So I have that. And then this one, this blue seemed to go the best with this, in my opinion. It does have some green up here. So if I end up just using like part of this, that works out perfect because then I can use the green for uh, the other pages. So I have that. I have this color green. I love this color green. This one is from Cartabella, um, our house. It's called Baking Times because you can imagine on the back, that's where all the pink is. Now I'm going to use this color. And then, of course, I need a little, uh, some more solid looking green. And then I do have some solids. This one is two shades of green. And I know that this came from a paper pad from Joann's. I don't know which one, um, but I like it that it has two shades of, of the green. And then because it's nature, I pulled in this, um, this burlap. I can't know if you can see. I'm sorry. I, it is raining, thunderstorming outside. So if you hear thunder, that's why. And um, there's no sun. And so everything has a shadow, but it does have some texture to it. So that is my kit of the full sheets. Now, I didn't bring very much of the uh, of the orange. So I tried to get it through my scraps. So let me show you some of the scraps that I got. 
So I brought this in. I got this yellow since I have this yellow here and the yellow for the other. And then I also have some of this orangey yellow. It's kind of a golden. I don't know, can you see? So they were just scraps that I kept. Normally I would have just thrown this away, but I yellow and orange are so hard to find for paper that I save little scraps like this. So there is that. And speaking of orange, there is this one that I got. Um, this was also from a, uh, that was from a paper pad from uh, Joann's. Once again, I don't remember what it is. Um, then I got this color green. It's a different tone, as you can tell. And it, even from this side. It is very, it's kind of that blue green. And I think it's going to work very well with my kit. And then I have some other scraps that I have. I know this is from Vicki Booten. Uh, this is, not sure where that's from. But I just have some greens. This is old as dirt paper. I want to say that this is. I don't know. Is it crepe paper? It's old. This this is old, but I, I love it. I love it. It was a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Let me tell you what happened. So I had this paper in the 12 by 12 and then I um, took a break from scrapbooking and I didn't have space to keep all the 12 by 12. So I just trimmed them down to six by six and that's what you see here. Now, I don't regret doing that because I think it would, would have been a little too busy for me to use this as a 12 by 12 as well as this one. But it would have been nice, you know, to cut them out. And the same for this one. I, I don't know. I've had, I probably had these equally as long, um, 10 plus years, I say. And then this one looks like Vicki Booten. And it has this brown on the back, but I got it for the green. Okay, so those are my papers that I'm going to play with. Now, I went looking through the alpha, and normally I don't go crazy with the alpha like I did this time. <laughs> I went really crazy. Let me show you what I got. So let's start with this one. This is a cork which is a nice texture looking kind of um, alpha. Let's see, does it have, oh, scene is by um, American Craft. I don't know, I've had it for a little bit. You usually can tell I got it Tuesday morning. I haven't used it a whole lot. And then I pulled out some orange and this one you can tell I've had this one for a while. It's also American Craft it says Homestead. They're kind of big or they're bigger. And then I have this orange as well. Also, I've had this. This says 5 of 97. No, that's not right, is it? That's, a, that's not right. It says over here 10 of 15. Oh my gosh, girl. Um, anyway, this is kind of fun to have the circles. And then I brought these back out. Um, just your, uh, it says, let your heart decide. It's by Pink Fresh. And I know it has some pink and some red in here. And I'm going to try not to use that if, if I can. So I've got those alpha. Then I was looking through some of my uh, flat non you know not foam not um you know uh dimensional alpha and i don't even know if i can use this this is says snow fine simple stories it's kind of old as well 2014 i don't even know if i can make a word of this i think i have 21 so at least if i can get 21 out of that to be honest with you i'm happy same thing with this one this one i can get 21 out of i don't know if i can get a word out of that is a bright yellow sunshine and happiness um yeah so uh we'll see and then these are from ellie studio 
I don't think she makes them like this anymore. But this is the wood grain letter and numbers. And you can see the size of them. You can't even tell. I know you can't. Um, so they're a really nice size. So I got the wood grain and I didn't pull any wood grain out. I may go get some. I don't know. And then there is this yellow. It's kind of a buttery color. So um, as opposed to that bright yellow there. So that's the alpha that I got. Now, as for embellishments, um, I, I'm pulling out, let's see, let me show you, I'm, I'm kind of pulling out some random things that I normally don't do um, because I want to challenge myself to see if I can use them, but I know myself, the less amount I have, the more I will use it, so I'm afraid that this may be overwhelming for me and I may not use much. So let me show you this. This is a, it was a, a print and cut that I got from um, Nicole Jones from one of her classes that I took. And it has this beautiful green um, and some brown up here. So I think that I'm going to be able to uh, use some of these um, on my pages. And then because I did go hiking I'm going to use that word, you know, not in the strictest of sense, but I did go on some trails. So I wanted to, you know, pull some of that out. Um, let's take a hike together, even though I went by myself, you know. It was me and nature, so we were together. Uh, that is that sticker sheet. And then there were some three by four cards that were part of that collection. This does have some pink in it, so I'm going to have to do some finagling here. So I'll probably just trim out the phrases. So I'm going to, um, you know, I think, yeah, I'm going to think I'm going to just cut that off and just fussy cut that flower. And I probably won't use that at all, but I know for sure I'm not going to use those glasses because that looks like I'm in a big city and that I didn't do. All right, so there is that. Now, um, I wanted to show you that I am going to try to add some sprinkles to my pages. I don't know where because everything is kind of dark. So I'll probably be pulling in some white cardstock or maybe some cream. But I did pull some of the Shimmers products that I own. Um, I've got this colorings. It says, oh, say, can you see? You can tell. I've used quite a bit of it. I don't know. Can you tell? I don't know. The line is like to right here. So I have, I've used quite a bit. And then this is uh, Jilted Jade. Very shimmery. This one is a creamies. It's called Lapis Dance. It's a really pretty blue. It's kind of like a navy. And then just peachy because I needed a softer color. And that one is a creamies. And then the inklings, which is more shimmery, is um, cantaloupe. And so it's it'll go well with the um, just peachy. I also pulled in, um, I hope I'm showing you everything. Did you get to see? You know what? Let me go back. Just in case you didn't see that. So I showed that this is the Jilted Jade, and that's all wet inside. And then this one is Lapis Dance, and it's a beautiful blue. I'm sorry, if I'm repeating this, I'm sorry. I don't even know if I showed it. This one is the Cantaloupe. Such a pretty color. And then this one is just Peachy. And that's a beautiful color. Okay, on top of that, I am I pulled out my um, wood veneer, and there's a couple pieces of of cork. Uh, but you know, I felt kind of overwhelmed by what I've already pulled. I couldn't go through and and get anything, even though those are nice. Well, 
So whenever I go, when I make my pages, I, I will go through this and pull out some of the wood veneer. That's my goal anyway. And as well as my bins that I keep my extra embellishments. So I wanted to show you how I keep mine. I know everyone's been showing their, their how they like their scrap room. I doubt that ever happened <laughs> in my case. Not that it's messy. It's just it's not very well organized. I know where stuff is. Okay, so this one, even though it says frames and banners, that's what it used, it used to be in there. But now this has my blue stuff in it. And... I just throw, if it's that color, I just throw it in here. Like there's even a little scrap that will make a nice little banner. So it, I have um, chipboard, I have scraps, I have, I have a lot of stuff. So I will go through this and this one is pretty full, pretty, pretty full. So there's a lot of pieces that are small, medium, and large. I like to have, you know, a larger item to for my base, for my cluster. So I usually come into here to look. This is, once again, this very old. I have some really old stuff. Maybe you have that too. Okay. Um, I have this blue. I have a green one and it's even more full. <laughs> this one kind of bounces. Yeah, this one has a lot, a lot of fun stuff. This is where I keep my brads. I have some flare. Look, I have some heart felt pieces. I have a lot of stuff and it's really fun to me to go through this whenever I'm creating because it's like, oh, it's like new stuff and I'm looking for something specifically. And um, I, even though it may take a while, um, I don't create pages for speed. You probably have realized that um, I'm not in a hurry. I'm not trying to get caught up. I don't believe there is such a thing as being caught up because this is a hobby and this is something that I enjoy. So it's like when guys go golfing, do they ever get caught up? They hit, may hit to the 18th hole, but they always go back. So are they not caught up? No, that's how I look at this. This is definitely a hobby that is continuous. And then this is my yellow and my orange. And it has, it doesn't have as much, um, but it has, it has a, a lot. So anyway, it'll be a lot of fun to go through this as I am um, making my pages and um, I look forward to seeing you guys next week make sure that you upload your uh, your kit I'd love to see what you're making um, if you've got a mood board that you're using oh upload that too um, I I like that um, you know what and I think what I'll do is I'll upload this mood board um, on on the mini kit Monday website, uh, but you do not have to use it. Get your own if you want to, just because I'm doing nature photos, you may be doing summer beach photos. Yeah, I don't have any of those. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time and you have a great one. Okay. Bye-bye.